Free agency is finally upon us. We're about two weeks away from free agency frenzy. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back into another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Appreciate you for coming in. Uh, what I'm going to be doing... Throughout this entirety of the week as I will be talking about possible free agent targets for the Arizona Cardinals to go ahead and get. That's what we're going to dive into today, ladies and gentlemen. Roll that intro. Alright everybody, welcome back in. Now, like I mentioned in the intro, today what I wanted to go ahead and do is... Talk about free agency targets for the Arizona Cardinals, but what I want to do is basically do it by positions. Um, in my personal opinion, I think the Arizona Cardinals need to kind of look after five positions, maybe not just in the free agency, but also in the draft. That's going to be wide receiver, um, cornerback, edge rusher, um, somebody in the trenches, offensively and defensively, um, as well as tight end. But in this video specifically, we're going to be talking about the wide receiver pickups, possibly for the Arizona Cardinals to, to target in this, uh, this year's free agency class. Now, before we get started, definitely do me one huge favor, smack that like button and subscribe to the AZ Sports Fan for everything Arizona Cardinals content. We will be talking about free agency, the draft, all that different stuff, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The Arizona Cardinals right now, are probably sitting in a very awkward position. I'm not sure exactly how much cap room we actually have. Um, I went to like over the cap and other third party uh, websites that keep track of this and some say, you know, 800,000, some say 23 million. So I'm not quite 100% sure how much the Arizona Cardinals have to spend, but I'm gonna be, um, you know, that guy and say the cap room or the cap space is a myth. Uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of talk about this in, in a scenario where um, obviously we don't have a lot to spend, but we're also not broke. That's what we're gonna, how we're gonna play out these videos here. So uh, the Arizona Cardinals. Now, obviously wide receiver number two is gonna be a big need for the Arizona Cardinals. AJ Green, I think might retire, might have another opportunity with another team, but I don't think he's gonna be staying with the Arizona Cardinals. Now, Christian Kirk, on the other hand, he can very well stay with the Arizona Cardinals, but I think he's gonna be moving on to another team. Now, I think the Arizona Cardinals have, like they do want him back, but I think there might be another team that's gonna be able to offer him maybe, you know, two to three million more per year. And let's be honest here, ladies and gentlemen, I, I think he's basically gonna be following the money and, and rightfully so. There's been rumors out there saying that him, uh, Christian Kirk and uh, Josh Allen from uh, the Bills are really close and it seems like um, he's trying to recruit Christian Kirk over to, uh, to go to Buffalo. So we'll see exactly how that shakes out, but let's go ahead and live in the scenario right now where we have DeAndre Hopkins and Rondo Moore, or Rondo Moore going into his second year. Who should we have going in, you know, as a wide receiver number two, in my personal opinion. Now, uh, this is my first pick that I think the Arizona Cardinals need to kind of uh, take a look at here. And that's going to be none other than DJ Chark. Now, I'm going to go ahead and post this picture up here along with the stats. Now, his best year that he had, um, obviously, he's been with the Jacksonville Jaguars for the last four years. Uh, his best year was his second year. Over a 1,000 uh, yards, eight touchdowns. Um, his other years, the 2020 and the 2021 I know 2021, he was hurt from, from the beginning. So those numbers are definitely a little skewed there. So um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it, but just kind of the promise and the possibility of what DJ Chart can become. I like what he he has and what his game is. Uh, he's 6'4", uh, a little less than 200 pounds, but that's exactly the, the, the type of target I want for Kyler Murray, a guy that's a really good uh, route runner, but that can also go ahead and, you know, kind of run laps over cornerbacks, and that's exactly what I want. Another 6'4", wide receiver, a number two, um, that's hopefully trying to play for a contract. Now, when I see DJ Shark, I don't probably see him signing to a long-term deal, maybe a one to two year deal, prove it type of deal to, in my personal opinion. So DJ Shark, I think is going to be an awesome asset if the Arizona Cardinals decide to target him. Now let's move on to my next player here. I want to go ahead and talk about the the former first round pick. Uh, that's going to be none other than Mike Williams. Now this right here is super intriguing to me, ladies and gentlemen. I like the idea of Mike Williams. 6'4", 220 pounds. This guy's an absolute beast. Now I remember when he was coming into the draft. Um, I believe it was the two 2017 draft. 
I wanted him. I wanted him so bad. Um, but obviously he ended up going before uh, we ended up picking. But so, so intriguing there. His first year wasn't very great. Like the numbers really looked bad. It almost kind of seemed like he was a bust. But since he's been with the Chargers, he came into his own. He's been with the Chargers for five years. Now, in my personal opinion, I feel like the Chargers are going to make a big push and a big play to retain Mike Williams. But if they don't, this would be an awesome asset for the Arizona Cardinals. Like I said, 6'4", 220 pounds. Now, if you take a look at his stats, he had two years, which is this last year, 2021 and 2019, over 1,000 yards. This last year is probably the most productive he had in terms of, you know, numbers, um, touchdowns, yards, all that different stuff. Obviously, Justin Herbert's a very young corner, uh, quarterback that's really coming into his own this year. Uh, so... Great target there, man. Another big wide receiver I want for Kyler Murray for our team. I think Mike Williams would be an absolute awesome asset. Now, to me, out of all my players that I have on this list so far, this might be the most expensive one. That That's Mike Williams. Now, DJ Chark, because he come off an injury, I think we could probably swoop him up maybe a, a two-year, maybe a three-year deal. Mike Williams, I feel like is going to be an expensive one. So, realism, maybe not. Just because we are paying DeAndre Hopkins a lot, but I like the option and the idea of getting Mike Williams on the opposite side of DeAndre Hopkins. Now, let's move on to my next player that I want to talk about. Kind of a sneaky player in my personal opinion, Jacoby Myers, wide receiver for uh, the New England Patriots. Now, he's only been in the NFL for three years. Uh, first year, 359 uh, yards. Uh, second year, 229 yards. And his third year, 866 yards, two touchdowns. Now, I understand, nothing crazy, nothing flashy, nothing super exciting, but 6'2", 201 pounds? Like, I really do like what he does. Now, keep in mind, this is the time that, um, or at least most of his time, he was playing with Cam Newton. Uh, and then his last year, he was playing with Mac Jones. So, yeah, the numbers aren't great, but Jacoby Myers was probably their number one wide receiver, best route runner, uh, best wide receiver that they possibly had in the New England Patriots uniform at that very moment. Now, we all know what, you know, Nikhil Harry, they ended up picking him up late in their first round, and he just never kind of really worked out for him. But Jacoby Myers, I think, could be a great number two opposite side of DeAndre Hopkins. I think it's more of a sneaky play more than anything and a very cheap contract in my personal opinion just because he's got a lot to prove. I like his game. I like what he can do and that would be an awesome asset for the Arizona Cardinals. Just imagine it. DeAndre Hopkins, Jacoby Myers, and Rondell Moore in the slot. I love it but let's move on to my last one here. Now this player here, Alan Lazard. Now I get it. I get it. Some people are like, why Alan Lazard? It, it, it's kind of the same concept. Big body frame, wide receiver. He's 6'5", and uh, he's 26 years old. Uh, very young. He's been playing opposite side of uh, Devontae Adams for a very, very long time. And I think that playing opposite side of DeAndre Hopkins will obviously extend uh, what he's been doing so far. Now, his best year was probably this last year. Um, was a 513 yards, eight touchdowns. And I, and I honestly do think that nothing too crazy, nothing too wild there. But Alan Lazard is a awesome option for the Arizona Cardinals if they did choose to get him. Now, do I think he's going to retain, uh, stay with the Green Bay Packers? I don't quite know, man. They're, they're trying to save everything they possibly can to retain Aaron Rodgers as well as Devontae Adams. I don't quite 100% know if they're going to be able to do that, if the cap space will allow it. Maybe Adam Lazard, or I'm sorry, uh, Adam, Alan Lazard will be uh, available um, in the free agency market. Now, I don't think he's going to be very expensive as well. Kind of similar uh, to DJ Chark, in my personal opinion. Maybe a two to three year uh, contract. Not very expensive, in my personal opinion. Definitely going to be a number two. Those are going to be my th four wide receivers that I would love the Arizona Cardinals to possibly target in the uh, free agency class. Now, I get it. Everybody wants the big names, right? Everybody wants the Devontae Adams. Everybody wants the OBJs. They want the um, <clears throat> the big names that are out there. Uh, Chris Godwin is also another big name out there. But let's be honest here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't think the Arizona Cardinals are able to retain that type of name right now. I don't quite know 100% what our cap space is looking like, but I don't think paying 
two wide receivers, a bulk amount of, you know, cap at this very moment, it's probably the smart way to go because we do have other needs. So obviously I would love, you know, Devontae. I, I would love Chris Godwin. OBJ, I wouldn't mind either. Although he's had, you know, injury concerns. But those four players, in my personal opinion, I think they'll definitely be steals. Mike Williams are going to be the most expensive, in my personal opinion. But I do think they've got some sneaky plays there. Let me know what you guys think, ladies and gentlemen. Put everything in the comments below. If there's a player that you want the Arizona Cardinals to get as a wide receiver number two, Put it in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to smack that like button and see you on the next video.